Hi, I'm Chef Sherry Ronning, and I'm here to show you how to make smash burgers on your Blackstone griddle. Smash burgers on your Blackstone griddle are real easy to make. I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to do this so you can do this at home very easily. So I have my griddle preheated on medium to medium low. You don't want it too hot, just depends on how hot your griddle is. You, uh, I do not have any wind guards around there, so my griddle isn't like super hot. So I'm just gonna place some olive oil. I have olive oil in my squirt bottle. You can use any kind of oil that you like to, to cook with. So um, you can use vegetable oil. If you prefer to use butter, you can. Um, butter will brown. I know that's one thing a lot of people in the groups ask about. Um, butter tastes awesome, but it also burns and browns very quickly. So we've got just a light coating of oil on the griddle. I like to use the burger balls. So I've just take, taken, this is a half a pound of burger that I'm using and I just made it into three it's going to be three patties so we're just going to place it on the griddle one two we'll do three you want to give it enough space because you're going to be you're going to smash them So then the trick for smashing, the trick for smashing is using parchment paper. There's all different, everybody has their own style of doing this. This is just how I found that I like to do it. Um, so you can use the spatula to flatten it. You can use a burger smasher, um, just whatever you like to use. So I'm just going to take the burger you don't want to let it cook for too long. So you want to do this right away. So you're going to smash it. You can either do it like that. Or a lot of times I will take, because I don't, my wrists aren't really strong. So I will flatten it out with one and then put the other one on and flatten it. I have the pressure of both. I'm actually using the heel of this spatula to press down on that one. So, and you want it fairly thin. These will cook very quickly. And the parchment paper comes off real easy. We're gonna do the next one. Smash it. You wanna try to get it as even as possible. So that one had a little bit thicker on that side. And these are going to cook very quickly. So I'm just making sure that I get them the thickness that I like. We want it to cook quickly and we want it to be moist and juicy in the middle. And so now that we've gotten flattened, we're just gonna take the seasoning, and this is a seasoning of your choice. We just like to use Morton seasoned, the pepper, and then we use the Lowry seasoned salt. Everybody has their own preference on what they like to use. So then you can see it's hotter on my griddle. You'll have hot spots on your griddle uh, that's one thing that I've definitely found that, especially if the wind is blowing, which the wind is blowing a little bit here, it's you're going to have hotter spots. So basically you just want to let it cook. Don't fuss with it. Don't keep on flipping it. You want to get a nice crispy golden brown bottom, but you want a nice juicy inside. So this one looks pretty good. This one's still cooking a little bit, and this one looks like it's pretty good. So we're just gonna do one quick push underneath there to get it up, turn it, and flip it. 
Look at how nice and crispy golden brown that is. I'm gonna take and flip it. Ooh, nice and crispy golden brown. There's that. And if you wanna press it down just a little bit, just so it adheres to the griddle. And the purpose of smashing it from a ball and smashing it on the griddle is you want it to adhere to the griddle to get that nice golden brown sear on it. Um, if you just take a burger patty that's already flattened and put it on there and smoosh it down just a little bit, it's not going to get that nice golden brown unless you like overcook it. So, um, and another trick that I found using with smash burgers is don't use like 90 10 meat, you want a little bit of fat in your burger. Obviously, it's going to cook out of it, and um. So you want, the best meat to use is the 80-20 ground burger. Um, so, it's looking like it's pretty good. So we're, I'm, I'm making these into cheeseburgers. So I'm just putting a slice of cheese on each of them. And as I said, it's not gonna take very long to cook. So they're, they're pretty close to being done. So then I also have my buns, which I'm gonna put on here and toast a little bit. And I did add a little bit of butter on here, but you can actually, some people like to take the grease from the griddle and use that to get a golden brown crust on their bun. And you can actually probably put your bun on, your buns on the griddle when you first start to cook. And then just watch them to make sure that they don't get overdone. So we're gonna make one of these a double cheeseburger. So we're just gonna take the one and stack on top of the other. Just like that. We're gonna take our bun, golden brown there, and stack like that. With the bun, goes on top there. So that's your double cheeseburger. And we're gonna take this one. We have the golden brown, golden brown crust in the burger and see it's nice and crispy but it should be nice and juicy on the inside because we didn't have it on for very long so we got that so then you can top it with your favorite toppings so here we have the smashed cheeseburger nice and golden brown around the the edges we're gonna add our, you add your favorite topping, whatever you'd like. I like a little bit of mayonnaise. And a little bit of ketchup. You can add relish, you can add pickles. Anything that you'd like to the top of it, you can add. And we're just gonna give give this a try. It's nice and toasty warm. Mm. This is delicious. You gotta give this smash burger a try. If you like this recipe, subscribe to my page, like the recipe. Go to from Michigan to the table.com for more griddle recipes. See you later. Bye.